Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP and we are looking at the Social Icons widget or block from Cubely for the WordPress editor. This entire page that I have here has been made within the Cubely blocks that you can find for free in the WordPress repository. Also, you can go and look for it in the link in the description below. Now, if I look at this page, I want to bring in maybe something like social icons, and we're going to do that with our insert from Cubely. Let's edit the page, and we scroll down all the way to the bottom of our page, and let's say we are going to try and insert our social icons over here. Now, I want to say the following. I am actually not very good at all with the Gutenberg editor or WordPress editor for WordPress 5. I've been using it lately on posts, but I still struggle with the interface and not finding the things I'm looking for. So it's a matter of adaptation and I'm slowly getting there. And it's one of the reasons I really like Cubely. They are more geared towards people who understand page builders. And that's why it feels to me a little bit more intuitive. To find the blocks and sections that you want to bring in, and I'm still not sure what are we going to, it's a block, right? But I, I think it's gone beyond being just blocks now. It's also other things. Uh, we go back to being a widget or an element or a module. Click here and then you collapse all the bars and you can see over here the Cubely section over here and you click on it, you can find all the icons over here. And here is the one that we will be using, the social icons. If you know what you are looking for, you can just type up here, social social icons. And if there's more than one block that has a similar reference, they will give you the option to select them. And what I'll do is I'll go here to where we can see a little plus. You see add a block and sometimes it's hiding away. Let's see here, add block. If that is going to work, let's click on social icons and it worked. That's, this is the part that I still struggle with the WordPress editor in its current format is that it's not visual enough in terms of giving me outlines that I can see what goes where and where I should click. You do have this navigator up here that helps a lot. So if you ever get lost, you can go and you can see the sub branches from here and what is inside what and you can work from here. That is a great feature. Without that, I'd be lost 95% of the time. Here we do have the social icons now. Let's see what we can do with it. And I would say, first have a look here on the right side in the sidebar for the options sidebar. Here we have the styles. Let's collapse this panel so you can see you have styles, icon, label, animations, interaction, and advanced. So with the styles, you currently have it at fill, then you have it at normal. And then you can also have default styles where you will change the color to your liking. And you can also remove the label. Just have the icons over there. Alignment, and this is what I'm going to do immediately. I'm going to center align it. And over here, you have responsiveness settings for which you can test as well. Let's also put it back on fill. It's a little bit more visual. And then I want to first show you how you add the social media in and how you remove the ones you don't want. Go here to the block and click on Facebook and this little dialog box will pop up. Up here, you search the icon. In here, you will put your URL and then a label. So you actually have quite a lot of control on what goes in there. Let's say you want to keep Twitter, you want to keep LinkedIn, you want to keep YouTube, but you come to Dribble and say, Dribble, nope, you get remove that. And you just remove it like that. And what do we want to add? Let's go for Instagram. Click on the plus and then up here, in the search box, you go for Instagram and then URL, you're going to paste it in there and apply and Instagram comes in with a color for Instagram. You don't have to think about that. And again, if you want to use your own colors, you're going to go here to default styles and toggle it. And now you can use your own styling for that. And that's how you're going to set up all your sharing options. As simple as that. It's, it's such a great feature. Let's have a look at the icons over here. Icons. You can put it on small, medium, and that's where it was, and then large as well. Let's put it back on medium. And you have a lot of features over here. You have your padding, right? And you can deselect the various sides, so you can apply padding only to the top. And I'm messing up big time here now. I hope I can fix it somehow. Right, let's just link it again. Yep, that solved it. And then radius will give you the rounded corners. Right, border radius all connected to your corners. And again, you know, you can delink it and you can make this kind of effect. 
pretty cool. Okay. Yay. Not bad. Not bad. And then we have spacing, and this will apply more spacing between the various buttons for the social media. That's a lot of control. Then you have the label over here. A label is all about the space between your icon and the title of the social media. You can see more space being added there. And then you have control over the topography. Toggle this on. From here, you select your font size. And you can also set your font family, choose the fonts that you would like to use for it, as well as the weight. The fact that they bring in weight is so amazing. There are some standard themes out there that don't even give you access to the weight. And this is in a free version. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Advanced topography, you get letter spacing here as well. And then text transform. So if I want everything on all caps, I can do that. Let's remove that. And then you have animation. Animation, quite interesting. Let's use something like fold. And it's not going to display here, but it will display on the front end. We'll have a look at that. And then they have some interaction features here, which you're only going to be able to access in Pro. When we get to Pro Elements, we will look at that. But down here, enable mouse movement. This is an interesting little one. So you can, I'm going to increase a little bit of the speed and maximum. Again, you're not going to see much now, but we will look at it on the front end. And then the last one over here, advanced features, you have enable custom position. Can you imagine this? You can place this where you want to place it, right? It gives you in the WordPress editor all this control. This one blew my mind. I'm, I'm still baffled. It's really good. And here you have hide on tablet and hide on phone. You may think it doesn't take much to surprise me, right? Let's update what we've done here and let's go view it on the front end to see if it works as good as I say it does. Scroll to the bottom, look at that entrance animation and see what happens. That is what happens with that, what is that one called again? Uh, interaction. We call this the interaction enable mouse movement. Squeakity squeak mouse movement. And then from here, click on Facebook and it will take you to your Facebook page. So this is not for social sharing. This will be for your social media links and you can add all your links there. People can easily find it. In case you were wondering why everything runs so quickly and smoothly, I would say go check out Page Builder Framework theme for WordPress. It's modern, fast and with its minimalistic theme design, runs perfectly with Kubely, especially if you are considering building out your entire site or even just your posts with Kubely. Combine it with your page builder of choice for creating pages, drop Kubely in for your posts, and the combination with Page Builder Framework is on fire. Check the link in the description below for more information on this lightning fast and SEO friendly theme for WordPress.